We are at SSA. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome, viewer. For those of you born on the 1st, um, the 10th, the 19th, please do the math. If your birth date adds up to a number 1, not the month, not the year, the birth date adds up to a number 1, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of February 2024 for you, birth date 1. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. You have the Dragon Oracle. You have the Lord Shiva Oracle and the Monology Oracle deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Smith Weight, you have the Dragon Tarot, the Wiccan Tarot and the Celtic Dragon Tarot set. All right, let's begin with the central theme. Number one, you have pulled out the card of Avalon, one of my favorites. I love it. The, uh, the card of uh, Embracing Forgiveness and Positivity of Lord Shiva. And the waxing crescent moon that says have faith in your dreams remember i've taught you what is waxing crescent it means as the size of the moon increases it becomes a waxing crescent is the size is this shape this shape right so this is called a crescent and as the size of the moon increases it's called a waxing crescent and as the size of the moon of course waxing crescent means ultimately it becomes a full moon and as the size after the full moon as the size of the moon decreases that's a waning crescent all right this time it says waxing crescent have faith in your dreams okay the first card that we're going to take is the card of avalon um avalon um is uh well it's it's called the isle of the apple trees and um this is uh something that we can get into but then we you know we'll finish all the time of the video this is a there is a powerful magical energy that wants to rise from within you that's why this card has come up um, the moon dragon as you see the beautiful moon dragon um, is awakening the magical aspect of you that part of you that you have yet to um, yet to discover and guess what this discovery depends on only one thing whether you believe in it in yourself or not whether you believe in its existence or not it's, it's quite simple okay and uh, there is a system to it there is a method to this madness the moment you say i believe in myself and i believe in the magic within me that the, the the priestess or the sorcerer within you is going to come up and you will be able to manifest miracles in your life that's it and this is a beautiful card to get this has to be something that is going to be only for your personal development the moment you think about i'm going to step on somebody else's toes and then rise guess what's going to happen you're going to devour your own self you're going to become dark matter that part that you detest in others and you don't don't play a game that you're sure to lose this beautiful moon dragon this beautiful silver dragon um has been has been rewarded to you and this is something that has come into you through your dna through your ancestral line and it will help you reach where it is that you have started walking for sure you need to recognize um that there is magic and knowledge deep within you and you need to be gentle and humble about it well, what a beautiful card to start the reading with right all right let's go to the next card uh, we are talking about uh, forgiveness and uh, uh, positivity so you need to learn the art of forgiveness to liberate yourself from energy blocks fostering a positive and successful life well that's a no-brainer isn't it so um sometimes you feel completely wronged and sometimes you feel wronged by either uh, people or circumstances or the world or everything in a bunch what you need to tell yourself at that point of time is if you hold a grudge against something or someone that's a low vibrational frequency and if you remember earlier i had said when you have a low vibrational frequency it is going to cause experiences that you will have to go through because that's what the universe is doing it's mirroring what you have put out there right so it's not like somebody's after you if you for example stumble you've gone for a walk and you um, hit your foot on a um, stone and uh, you stumble and fall um, obviously the first thing that we all do is we curse or we cuss um, once we have crossed that if you are going to say oh my god uh, i hope this isn't the beginning of a series of disasters that's exactly what it's going to be a beginning of the series of disasters that you will have to go through instead this is something i've learned over a period of time if i go through something which uh, is unpleasant i tell myself 
the worst of the day is over the best is yet to come i'll repeat that for you write it down learn it by rote tell it to yourself a thousand times and you will see a change okay the worst of the day is over the best is yet to come something personal i'm sharing and you will see i've taught this to my children my friends uh, my husband everybody and it does work okay so it's always the simple things you need to you will be able to increase your vibes if you learn to forgive i'm not saying forget i'm saying forgive and the moment you forgive what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to think about something because it can be a vicious circle uh, and it'll go in a loop your thoughts will go in a loop and that brings your vibes down then you can't attract the things that you want and that is how you start becoming negative so if you want to be positive you need to forgive that's what this card is here to say for those of you who are watching this is something you should be taking very very seriously and the last uh, card for the um, central theme you have have faith in your dreams you are being tested viewer this is your test have no doubt this path that you have chosen is not an easy path yes it has obstacles yes it is creating uh, you know sleepless nights for you but tell yourself you haven't come this far to give up if it is something that you feel that there is absolutely not a drop of hope left then that's something different but if you feel that there is still something in it that you need to um, discover or go through or try, then please go ahead and do it. Okay. Have, if you don't have faith in your dreams, how do you expect other people to? Simple thing. All right. First week of uh, Feb 2024, number one, you've pulled out the wheel card, also called the wheel of fortune, the WOF, like we say, the three of wands, the high priestess card. Well, hello there and the four of swords okay so the wheel of fortune we have uh, we have two out of four major arcana cards which means right out here you have the blessings of uh, the angels the wheel card or the wheel of fortune card we call this the card of the planet jupiter the planet gods of jupiter or the planet prihaspati like we say in hindi so this card speaks about luck and finance are yours in the first week so number one if there's any investment job promotion applying for a new job uh, then this is your time okay buying selling etc anything to do with finances go for it in the first week itself and i uh, while i was shuffling the cards uh, for the second week also the card dropped out i didn't choose it for the second week but so then first and second week is something that i would definitely uh, try in terms of jobs uh, the three of wands is here to say that you are going to be traveling uh, uh, probably by the water you are uh, you've chosen your path from the multiple options that were there in front of you and yet you are perhaps procrastinating or delaying because of no no unknown reasons and you're not taking a step or a move towards it and that finality is required and that's why this card has come you need to you need to make up your mind and set course that's important uh, and because you're you're kind of uh, sending the universe to uh, signals that you don't want to send one is that you're taking too much time to think and this overthinking is making you doubt your step and two you're scared of dropping the other options so fear and procrastination is something the universe um, does not like and trust me when I say that energy is not something that you want to play around with the high priestess card is here to say that you could be under the protection cloak of a high priestess or you could have pissed off one for your sake i hope it's the former and not the latter this card also means that you need to listen to your gut your gut instinct seems to be very strong uh, in the first week number one make your sixth sense your first sense like i say okay the four of swords is here to say that you are contemplating you are supposed to be acting uh, or doing some kind of action in terms of this path that you have chosen or the decision that you seem to have taken and yet you are still contemplating this this contemplation is going to uh you know flip into convert you know convert into um procrastination or delay and that kind of lethargic decision making is going to cost you later on and that could be anything so the universe can also take a decision on your behalf and you don't want that because that might not be something that you like so be careful okay tell yourself that everything has a time limit to it even if people say take your time they actually don't mean it notice right second week of uh, feb 2024 number uh, one you have the card of 
sleep and nightmares dreams and nightmares page of wands you have the four of coins or the four of pentacles and the empress card all right so again you have the blessings of the angels because two out of four are um major arcana so dreams and nightmares so look out in the second week number one you are going to be getting some kind of messages you are going to be receiving some kind of um it could be a color sign number uh something that you will uh you know some kind of an experience in terms of uh um, some kind of a setting or um you know somebody from your uh, free, your past life or an ancestor or a relative who's passed on um or an old friend you haven't gotten in touch with for, for a while or something you, there will be some kind of a dream sequence or some kind of a uh, a message that will be conveyed to you in your dreams don't get uh, perturbed or disturbed this is your subconscious that is attracting the the messages that you ought to receive uh, that your conscious is uh, filtering out that's that's the simple definition of it speak to somebody who knows how to interpret it and uh, keep a pen and paper handy next to your side table bedside table so that you can jot it down because usually we forget over a period of time what it is that we dream but it's important and that's why this card is showing up in your reading okay right uh the page of wands you'll be receiving a creative message or giving out one uh this is also a very youthful spirit this is going to be so you'll have a um you know a, a of you'll have a good sense of humor uh, and you will appreciate a good sense of humor uh in the second week uh you might be even you might even pull a prank on someone or someone might pull a prank on you and it's also possible that uh, someone in your family might receive uh, some kind of a accolade or some kind of a reward award etc could be your your child or children nephew niece uh, etc even sibling i suppose okay uh the four of coins or the four of pentacles tells me that uh, um issues relating to property is something that's going to be in your in your uh, agenda uh, in the second week could be payment of tax uh furniture fixture buying something refurnishing refurbishing interior decorating um renting uh, leasing etc but there's definitely something related to your to your um place your your place of your the property that you own could be your residence or could be a property that you own this card also means that you're holding on to your money very very tightly and uh, because of that you are coming across as a miser um frugality is something that is appreciated and admired and rewarded um, by blue magic but uh, it is not good to be a miser or a spendthrift because either which way you are abusing uh, the laws and rules of blue magic so please be careful um, spend where it is required and when you are spending uh, see the utility of the item and be done with it all right the empress card is here to say that well um you want a definite answer to something and uh, yet you are doubtful um don't go by the gender you could be a male also there is a lot of uh, yang energy in your life right now so you could be um you could be surrounded by women women may be dominating um the decisions in your life and you have a lot of abundance abundant energy that's happening that's already there and you need to match it if you are not matching this abundant energy then you need to get in touch uh with either yourself or with us and let's see what we can do to match it because your vibrational frequency would need a switch if you feel that you're pregnant with ideas um and uh, you need to write them down and see which one is feasible and lucrative and which one isn't then that's also a very good idea if you're trying for a child then now is the time to conceive um you will definitely be able to gain some ground in that aspect increase your family so to say All right, the third week of uh, February twenty twenty four, number one, you've pulled out the two of wands, the nine of wands, the hermit card, and the knight of wands. So third week is going to be quite creative. I see the two of wands. The two of wands here is telling me that um, you already have something in your hands, and you're trying to build on it to make it bigger, better, and brighter, so that you can. presented to the world out there you're quite proud about your achievement and you do consider yourself to be capable of working on this thing that you have and uh, you know uh, 
gaining that much more traction in terms of attracting the right kind of folk um having said you also plan you also may be planning a trip by the water having said that um this card also says that um your creative juices are flowing right now so don't uh, let that ship sail it's important to uh, see where this where this idea of yours goes because it might just be um, the jackpot that you've been waiting for okay that's a good card nine of wands uh, tells me that uh, you have been uh, holding your fort and standing strong for a very long time now and uh, you don't know how long you can continue uh, bravely on this path and uh, holding the fort so to speak it's not something that you are uh, regretting but it is something that is exhausting you um, tell yourself that you haven't come this far to give up that's one and also tell yourself that hope is around the corner this card usually comes up when there is a breakthrough uh, in the situation that you are in the moment at the moment third week you guys the hermit card tells me that you could be a virgo or dealing with one this card also means that uh, you are being asked to look within yourself and do some uh, self assessment self contemplation and uh, think about those things that have taken uh, importance and uh, top ground in your life okay knight of wands tells me that you will be um creatively pursuing or somebody will help you creatively pursue this journey that you seem to have undertaken and this idea of yours is definitely something that is going to bear fruit um uh, it's a very very good card you are going to be progressing forward and that movement is already seem to have started you just need to follow your thoughts and convert it into reality right okay let's do the last set now this is the last week of feb 2024 Number one, you've pulled out the six of coins or the six of pentacles, the seven of wands, the eight of coins or the eight of pentacles, and the queen of coins or the queen of pentacles. So you basically have a lot of coin cards here. Good for you. Um, you could have, uh, you could be a Libra or dealing with one is the six of coins. That's the one we're doing right now. Um, there might be somebody who might come into your life uh, and try to borrow something from you of financial value. um you are going to be on the giving end and not the receiving end that's important but uh learn to say no because this thing that will be returned to you it could be anything okay it could be something like uh, some something that you wear like a jacket or it could be a bauble it could be money is it could be your car your something but it has financial value it will not be returned to you in the same way and uh then you will regret it and then you will have strange relations with that person so remember it is better to say no in the beginning than to regret not having said no later right makes sense okay the seven of wands is a card that says and i have a lot of respect for people who are like this so um six of wands is a card that says that you have recently gained victory seven of wands says despite having recently gained victory big or small doesn't matter a victory is a victory is a victory so seven of wands says that despite having recently gained victory you are not resting on your laurels and you're continuously progressing and moving forward and planting more seeds and uh, with the hope of gaining better and bright you know uh, healthier and juicier fruit in the future so you're not resting on your laurels and that's a very very good thing okay so that's so you're busy you're working hard and you're working in the right direction Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles tells me that your professional skill set is being noticed by the right kind of people. So hang in there. Uh, number one, I think uh, Feb end is when you might be hitting the jackpot, and uh, good for you on that score. Looks like you've been waiting a long time and you've been working really, really hard, and your consistency will pay off for sure. Okay, so don't give up. The Queen of Coins. Don't go by the gender. You could be a male also. This card says that you are being looked upon as someone who can take care of yourself. and those who are dependent on you in a financial uh, sort of way this card also means that you are thinking about how to increase your coffers your monies and that is something that you are going to be able to do um, because your head seems to be in the right place and you are using logic in place of emotions which is very very good please remember emotions can be very dangerous when it comes to taking logical decisions okay because they all clouded 
all right number one that's all i have for you for the month of feb 2024 i will see you in the uh, month of march and for the rest of your birthday i will see you in the next video until then love light and knowledge to you all om sarve bhavantu sukhena and be at us essay